All right, Damon. North. Sell you some stuff. next to my journal, things to do. Monster. Oh, this one. Oh, let's get going then. East. Protectors of Baldur's Gate, hear this humble plea. Shield our people from the depredations of the absolute heretics. Bless them with the strength to endure and the courage to resist. So may it be. Hmm. What's hiding here? Thank you. Mystery. Read some books. Do some learning. Just as Elminster promised, Mistra, goddess of the weave, mother of all magic. The old man wasn't lying. She's opened the summoning channel. Can't you feel it? Mm hmm. Gail's right. The very air around the statue crackles with magic. It sets your teeth on edge. A stream of pure undiluted weave. I only have to reach out and it will carry me to Mistra, wherever she may be. Well, are you composing a poem in your head or some such? Time was I'd have given my right arm for a chance to speak with Mistra again. <laughs> the left one, too. Maybe a knee. 
Am I? You're right. I am a strong, capable wizard. And this is no more than a casual reunion with an ex-lover. My omnipotent, omniscient ex-lover. I always wonder what being nervous would feel like. I hate it. Hmm. During my time locked away in Waterdeep, I prepared a quite comprehensive locked speech away. for her on the subject of our former relationship and the manner in which it ended. Remember that part. Alas, recent events have rendered the majority of it moot, so I'm gonna have to improvise. Unless you have any words of wisdom to impart before I go. Nope. Friggin' uh current. Don't give anything away, just... The summoning channel Mistra has provided is one only I can enter. No matter how much I prefer not to face her alone. Alright. Mm, you're right. A heartfelt apology is the surest way to a goddess's heart. And her faith. Yeah, she's on omnipotent, she really knows I everything. I pray that she'll be in a forgiving mood. If she weren't the one I'd be praying to. I'll only be gone for a matter of moments. No need to hide things from her. The outer planes experience time quite differently to our own. Wait for me. Please. I ain't going anywhere. I need you. thought would speak again like this why am I here there is much unsaid between us but time runs ever short you discovered what lies at the heart of the absolute the crown of causes and you disobeyed my instruction why I didn't want to die and when I saw the crown I thought I might not have to if I only understood its power and you believe you have the right to such an understanding. The past cannot be undone with self-pity, nor can a future be forged. Only with the truth will you see the way ahead. The fragment of magic you tried to return to me was not of my creation. It was the Carsite Weave. The what now? It is a corrupted, half-born magic Wrought in the brief moment Carsus ascended to Godhood. It hungers for power, just as he did, and it can never be sated. You unleashed something that would consume all magic in existence, and yet you thought only of preserving yourself. That can't be. It wasn't. It couldn't have been. Why don't you tell him that's myself worthy? I had no idea. You were already worthy. What you lacked was patience, and it cost you dearly. When the Carsite Weave entered your body, your gifts were the first thing it consumed. The only reason the orb sleeps is because I have allowed it to feed on the true weave, a temporary measure. But one that will not be enough to save us. With each day that passes, the Elder Brain threatens to become a new kind of god. Its worshippers, a scourge of soulless illithids. If you will not use the orb to end this abomination, then you must find a way to separate crown and host. When you've done this, you must surrender the crown of Carsis to me. I won't let you down again. When the Absolute is vanquished, I will surrender Carsus's powers to you. Good, you better. You have my word. Thank you. 
May the weave's light guide your purpose, and its wisdom guide your hand. The future of magic rests on your shoulders, Gale of Waterdeep. I promise you, it is a burden you are strong enough to bear. in there, Gail. Back on mortal soil once more. I can't believe I saw it. After all this time. Hmm. You know you Relieved. Drained. Proud of myself for summoning the courage to go to her in the first place. And, if I'm being totally honest, a bit lightheaded. As if it wasn't enough to have seen her again. She didn't exactly summon me there for small talk. A car sight weave. Within me this whole time. I knew the orb was no ordinary ball of magic before it to be Cassis's malignant creation. Gods! How did I not see that? Hmm. Mm, true enough. There's a reason such unwitting heroes have been the backbone of lyric and legend for as long as both have existed. Even so, I was hardly some naive apprentice at the time. I considered myself an archmage. What's that? And yet was like zero to be mistaken for a common conjurer. At least now I'm armed with the truth and Mistress' expectations. Once I bring the crown of castes to her, I can put everything right. The orb, too. I'll be myself again. For all that's worth. Mm hmm. Let's see. <laughs> I'll have to disagree with you there. Having not one, but two parasitic entities within your body does very little for one's faith in one's personality. Still, I should take the compliment with the same generosity it was given, so... Thank you. Yep. If I can yep. promise you one thing in return for your faith in me, it's this. I will use everything in my power to ensure we defeat this evil. Sound good. I will not let you down. Now... I believe we have a date with an elder brain to get to. Shall we? Yep, we're getting there. We are getting there. Shield our people from the depredations of the Let's take some more books on here. Oh, what's this? A little secret hatch, huh? Or that leads to. Get some more learning going on here. Okay. Journal, where are we going? Yeah, that sucks. Hmm. We are. Did it do? Get the Yankee Warrior. Zombie guy. Where am I gonna find another zombie guy? I have something to you. I'll talk to you again. See if it works. No, not talking. Oh, okay. How about she, how about to her? Come to have a go. An air of decay hangs on hmm. gold first. Then you can hit me. Let's see here. Nope. 
Damn it. No chance. All right, next. Always nice to be wanted. It's a good thing. Oh, what the manhole? Give it your best. An air of decay. No. Gold first. Carrion sent you. Shit. Don't think about trying anything. Let's see here. Back. All right, what my numbers look like? One. Two. There you go, finally, another piece of the puzzle. Let's see you. Bloody hells. And I thought Carrion was a bastard. Thrombo was going to get us a boat, but I haven't heard from him since. He must be somewhere near the water. I just hope he didn't drown. Okay. These things have stayed interesting. Same as simple enough. I wonder where this leads me to. Take a look see when we're here, huh? It's up there. Oh, my feet. Hmm. Mm. Nothing, huh? All right, what's up here? No exit. Oh, yeah? Come on, open up. You can't tell me what to do. I never learned how to read. Guild Hall. I'm not supposed to be here. Back it up. We'll go the proper way next time. Just give me that. All right, so I'm supposed to go by the water. Cross down. The stairs across the sand. Boat. Go on this side here. Alright, let's go around the, the perimeter here. Up, up, up. Up and around. I never went in here though. Let's check out what's in here. Talk straight. Are you real? Just love these people. Better not be curious. Side of your brilliance. I know you, people. Well met. I am the society's leading expert on myconid spore telepathy. But I, I've had to delay my experiments. Run out of spores, you see. 
I miss them, those Myconic spores. They don't feel quite right without them. Probably shouldn't have inhaled them all so quickly. Eh? You... Strange. To think that I'm both thrilled. Ah, a surface dweller. You find yourself in the cradle of all knowledge relating to the Underdark. The Society of Brilliance. Yes, Tell I've met me, two of you guys before. What can the Society do for you? Hmm. Yes, dear Lady Esther. One of our most reliable contractors. Though unfortunately, this particular request was too much even for her. Once the dust has settled on this whole invading army mess outside the walls, I'll find another contractor. Perhaps they will have more success. Hmm. Was there anything else? I should really get back to my research. Yeah, I also met two other guys. Oh. oh. Not done yet. Well met. What can the Society of Brilliance do for you? Oh, what the? Yeah. Was there anything else? Feel free to explore the lodge. Our knowledge is here for the common good, after all. Okay. What about the other? Well met. What can the Society of Brilliance do what? for you? Hmm. A wonderful research partnership. I'm sure you'll agree. They are upstairs if you wish to share any theories with them. Oh, cool. I can talk with them. Nice. Yes. D Once the Was there yeah. anything else? Feel free to... Oh, I want to talk to them. I had laughter this morning. At me, perhaps. Why can't a man be passionate about mineral ores? At least outside of mine. Here. To think that I'm both brilliant Very well. and extremely attractive. My surface-dwelling friend, how long has it been? I am glad to see you well. I see your tadpole remains in its state of suspension. Mm -hmm. Your case has set us on quite the detour from our planned expedition work. We've thought about very little else. Where's a little bit of In the field seeking further subjects for study, though it has been gone for longer than I anticipated. After observing the nature of your tadpole stasis, we felt it wise to report back to the society. Omeloam went out into the city to seek out further undeveloped infections. Yep, let me go find them. But I have heard nothing since. I admit, I'm somewhat concerned. We are usually sticklers for updating one another on our progress. Hmm. Omeloam believed the answer to this riddle lay within the city walls and held some connection to the cult of the Absolute. I had the distinct impression it was intentionally keeping its hypothesis from me, as though even the theory would be enough to put me in danger. Why that would be, I can only theorize myself. It is rather outside my area of expertise. Omeloam is most likely safe and well, and simply absorbed in its work. However, it would put my mind at rest to confirm it, if you happen across its path. Sure. Anything to trade? Naturally. The Underdark provided us with some most unusual salvage. Plenty to keep an inquiring mind busy. All right, what do you got for me? Yeah, this bucket. Hmm. I see if it, you still have all my stuff I sold you, huh? Interesting. Thanks. There's a distinctly nether rich taint to the air hmm. in this city. You have anything for me? 
Once I publish my paper, proving that it's just hyena mite infections that make Knowles so angry, I'll be famous. Right. All right, troops, move out. Got nothing else here. to see what's inside these chests, but uh, we're not going to poke rod. Let's get out of this place. How do I get out of here? <coughs> oh, this way. So a million's out there lost somewhere. It's fortunate. I, haven't, I also haven't checked this place out. So many locales I haven't checked out yet. Sneak around somehow. Can I get up top here? Could have easily just gone up this way, huh? What, you tell me I can't reach you from here? You 